Sunday show. We ran up with all your DCEU news. Now, a couple of years ago, uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, was cast as Black Adam in DC's upcoming Shazam movie. Now, there was I went over quite a lot of stuff last week, and I didn't really cover this because it was only just sort of emerging. So I thought I'd you know give it a bit of time to gestate and see what happens. It was announced this week, after many tweets and whatnot, that The Rock's character. Black Adam, he's going to be getting his own movie. So he's still going to be in the Shazam project, that's still happening, but we're going to get uh, like an origin story of um, how Black Adam came to be, and I suppose like the death of his wife Isis. So yeah, it's yet another DCEU movie in the slate. I mean, I think come Comic Con this year, they're going to have to sort of update their slate because there's so many different things that's been announced. Is the Deadshot thing still happening? We've got Gotham City Sirens coming. So I think they could do with updating their slate a little bit just to let us know like, the timeline, what's happening. Obviously, you can trace a few breadcrumbs back. Sort of Christmas Day, um, The Rock himself and Henry Cavill put a, put a picture out of the, the, the two of them uh, having a couple of drinks Christmas Day. Who knows? Could Superman be making an appearance in the Black Adam movie? Or even the Shazam movie, you know? It's, it's quite a good thing to be pairing up or having, rather than a big massive ensemble, we have one or two of the characters show up in each other's films. But, um, in something like this, just seeing, seeing a little scene like this in the future, that, that could be awesome. Next up, we've got some Green Lantern news. Hot on the heels from last week's um, writer's announcement, and just you know, 100% confirming that the film is actually happening. Our friend Umberto Gonzalez, you know, the guy that works for the rap, who's pretty famous for breaking stuff a few months in advance that actually turn out to be true instead of just waffle. He's come out with a short list of actors in line to play Hal Jordan. Now, there's a few of these I can debunk straight away, but let's just jump straight into this. We've got Tom Cruise, Joel McHale, Bradley Cooper, Ryan Reynolds, of course. Army Hammer. Jake Gyllenhaal. These guys are on the shortlist to be playing Hell Jordan, apparently, you know. Now, first and foremost, Tom Cruise. Great actor, still looks good for his age, but personally, I just can't see it happening. Don't get me wrong, if, if I'd have been asked about, you know, a few years ago, Ben Affleck as Batman, I'd have said no. But I just I can't see Tom Cruise in the role of Hal Jordan. I can't see him in the DCEU. I don't think he's got anything against um, comic book movies, to be fair, but I just I can't see it. Joel McHale. Now, this one has got potential. I don't really know him. He's not really a recognisable name. But then I was Henry Cavill back in the day. But now, straight away, Henry Cavill, Superman, you know? Now, maybe he could be doing the same thing for Green Lantern. Casting a relatively, certainly in my mind, um, an unknown. Um, he could go on to bigger and better things. So keep your eyes on this one. This, this could be something to this. Bradley Cooper. Now, definitely not. This guy, he's already over at Marvel doing Rocket Raccoon for the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. Um, he's, uh, he's not going to jump ship and then play Green Lantern. Don't get me wrong, Ryan Reynolds has done it. We'll get on to him in a minute, but I, I just don't think it's going to happen. So that's another no-no. Ryan Reynolds. Now, the fact that he's apparently on this list throws the whole thing into this, like, bullshit territory for me. They've put the Green Lantern movie as far away as like 2020 um, to give it as much distance as they can from the Ryan Reynolds starring Green Lantern. There's no way they're going to bring him back and then have people think that the flop that was Green Lantern be anything to do with the DCEU. So this is this is not happening. Even if they give him like 10 billion, you know, it's, just, it's, not, it's not happening. Army Hammer, fan favourite. Um, I think this is the most likely contender. Obviously, all the tweets back and forth with him and Joe Mango Jello. You know, there's something to this. You know, I really think there's something to this. Plus, he's got history with Cavill on the Man from Uncle, so strongest contender at this list. But obviously, it was a no-brainer. Any list in the world of Green Lantern would have had him on it. Jake Gyllenhaal, serious potential with this one. Um, seems to have gone quiet recently, acting-wise, um, and he's he's he has already come out and he's, he's a lover of comic book films he said something a couple of years ago I forget to quote myself but so I think he was really inspired by comic book movies I think Thor in particular he, he mentioned um, yeah potential with this one so either Jake Gyllenhaal Army Hammer or Joel McHale I've, they're at that list you know potential 
Right, we've had a couple of pictures this week. Um, first of all, there was a picture released by Zack Snyder of Batman. All right, okay. Look at that. See, when I see that, I was thinking, oh! I, thought, I was a bit gutted at first, but it's, it's the back of his head. Who cares about the back of his head? Um, but then I started thinking maybe he's editing the trailer, you know, and he's, you know, there's an epic Batman moment in it, and this is a screenshot from it, so I was getting all fanboy geeky. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, guys, but this is actually pretty much confirmed. It's it's actually a toy, you know. This may be a prototype of the new bat suit in toy form. Maybe even like Hot Toys have done a sculpt and sent Snyder a few pictures for him to sort of green light, you know, give him the thumbs up. Um, it's one to six scale. I mean, look at the ribs on the back of the neck there. It's pretty poor. If that's a life size suit, that's shit, isn't it? That is absolute shit. Sorry to disappoint fans, but this is actually a toy. Now, don't get me wrong, it's, gonna, it's a cool looking suit, you know. I can't wait to see it in the life size with an athlete wearing it. But unfortunately, that's all it is, just a toy. Now, the second picture that's come out this week is apparently of Henry Cavill slash Superman um, after his rebirth in the black suit. Now, I don't know, guys, this is. Um, this has been going around the internet for a day or two now. I, I, I think it's bogus. I think it's absolutely bogus. Anything that um, Cavill, Affleck, Snyder, anyone official, if they put it out there, then obviously that's, that's it. Cavill did put a picture of a, a black suit. They were very cl a close up of a black suit a long while ago. You know, so I think we're going to see the black suit. But I, I mean, just just look at the size of the hand compared to his head. And it's not even a perspective, like because the hand's closer to the camera. Look at the, his like his right hand that's further away. It's out of out of proportion to his head. Do you know what I mean? Can you imagine that? Like one of them hands like brushing his teeth. It's like massive. Looks like Hellboy or something. Um, so I think that's bogus. Although I think it gets the hype juices flowing for the black suited Sp uh, Spider-Man. Fucking hell, for the black suited Superman. So yeah. Now next pictures. Speaking of Batman. Um, Jared Leto has been sodded about. He, he must be uh, knocking about with some teenagers or something because he's uh, been playing with Snapchat. I mean, Snapchat, it's, you know what I mean? You're a grown man, sort yourself out, boy. On Snapchat, he's put these pictures out there the other day. The first one was of this purple Gucci uh, not earring box or something with a tooth in it, uh, followed by obviously a picture of Alan Moore's killing joke front cover. Um, what does this mean? Is this. Is he subtly telling us uh, that he's going to be coming back to the DCEU? I don't know if he was contractually obliged to appear in a certain amount of films. There was a little bit of a, a to-do when he finished Suicide Squad, you know, he put his heart and soul into the role, and uh, next thing you know, it's all over the cutting room floor. This in particular really gets me going, because that's like, maybe we're going to see, maybe him and Ben Affleck have had a chat, and he's going to appear in there, and we might see a bit of flashback, um, seeing his tooth getting, or teeth getting smashed out. You know, it's where he looks more like that. Um, you know, like the Under the Red Hood storyline of when of Robin's death, <laughs> about Batman losing his call and just smashing his teeth out, basically. You, calm down. Yeah, it's been quite a busy week, realistically, but nothing massive apart from the Black Adam stuff. So, um, it's been a Sunday show. I'd like to thank you all for joining me. Um, there'll be another one along next week. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a little thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, if you don't, Batman's gonna come and get you. So, I'll see you guys next time. Eesh! I'm Batman. <laughs> Fucking hell! Jesus! Fuck's sake!